this is what we feared. This is exactly what we feared, that the Giants' rejiggered offensive line was not going to be right. And it wasn't right. And everybody expected Eric Flowers to struggle, and he struggled. But nobody expected Nate Solder to struggle the way he struggled. And I don't think everybody expected the entire five-man unit to struggle. Uh, Eli was running for his life. Still completed 11 passes to Odell Beckham Jr. for 111 yards. But there are no moral victories this year. This is a year where the Giants are built to win. So I know that Jacksonville uh, came within one quarter of going to the Super Bowl. I get all of that. You don't have to repeat that narrative to me. Jackson was one, just one quarter away from the Super Bowl. Right, one quarter away. Thank you for reminding me. Mm -hmm. But they were also a quarter away from losing. So the Giants could have made a statement yesterday, Don and Peter. Yeah. When, when Eli had the ball there... You score, and all of a sudden it's a different year. Now you're sitting back analyzing what went wrong. That's what we did all of last year 13 times. Well, we need to know as the season goes on whether this was a hiccup or whether it's going to be a habitual problem. Offensive line did not play well. But I was concerned about the game because there was no continuity to the offensive line based off of last year, and it might take a while for them to get going. And that's a tough team to have to play. Now, Jacksonville, based off of last year, as Peter said, one quarter away from going to the Super Bowl and one of the best defenses in football. A tough first matchup for an offense that didn't have any continuity. But if we fast forward to the end of the season and Jacksonville's average and their defense isn't nearly as good as it was last year, we may look at it differently. All I know is, is that they were one fluke play away from winning the game. And it is kind of a fluky play. I mean, the, the, the offensive line doesn't do its job, but that ball could have very easily fell incomplete, and the touchdown doesn't happen. But what happens? It pops up in the air. It gets intercepted and returned for six. But they bounce back. They got the big play from Barkley, which I'm hoping we get to see all year. Beckham and Eli seem to have a lot of chemistry. When there was time to throw, I thought Eli was, was very good. He was 11 for 11 to start the game. Defense only allowed 13 points. But they didn't have to deal with Fournette in the second half. No, but you saw, though, the Elden came in and did a very good job because they're built to, with a good offensive line, to get production. Again, there's nothing to go crazy about. A loss is a loss. You're not going to go 16-0. and 0, So if you're going to lose, lose to a non-conference opponent. It's a team that was really good last year. I saw some positives. Nothing to panic about. But, yeah, it's frustrating to already be in last place in the division. You're chasing after the Redskins and the Eagles now. Wow, that was a good-looking good uh, Redskins win. I, I, I didn't see any reason to panic. Well, uh, can you... Is, you can uh, the offensive line's a reason. I was going to say, can you simplify this whole thing by being like, hey, the defense looked pretty good, improved from, the, from where they were last year. The offense looked eerily similar in a lot of ways, minus, minus what Barkley did. Um, and th that there is the fact that they have flowers. What is it? Uh, two penalties on the first drive. Yep. Um, and then being the reason ultimately, you can say flowers is the reason they lost the game. I mean